Greetings, Traveller, and welcome back to Cryptid Central. In today's episode, we'll be exploring a further 10 cryptids you've never heard of. If you haven't already, grab yourself a snack and beverage, and we'll get started. Kicking off the list at number 10 is the Shell Monster. Native to Iceland, the Shell Monster is a bear-like animal the size of a hippo, with blue scales similar to those of a pangolin. It is often described as having seaweed and shells covering it, and it has long claws, used to hold onto rocks at the bottom of the sea. In the 18th, 19th and first half of the 20th century, many stories of this creature were told, but now, almost none are told, hinting that perhaps the shell monsters may have fallen into extinction. Number 9. The Milamo the Milamo is a large, fearsome bird from North American lumberjack folklore during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The Milamo was a huge crane that was reportedly so large that it would eat snakes the size of a car tyre. It was also known to live on a diet of giant worms that lived in giant worm holes. One story told of a Milamo that had difficulty trying to catch and eat giant worms. When it pinched one in its beak and pulled back, the worm would hold on tight in its hole, and its body would stretch like an elastic band. The bird pulled some more, and when the worm was really thin, it let go and flew out of its hole like an arrow from a bow, and it hit the Milamo bird in the eye. The Milamo loosened its grip in its shock of being hit, and the worm dove back into its hole as fast as it came out. Number 8. Shishi Gi Yu the Shishi Gi Yu is a fish cryptid from the ancient bestiaries of China. They are said to inhabit the raucous river near Trickling Brilliance Mountain. This fish had ten bird-like wings, and it was believed that eating the meat of the Shishi Gi Yu could cure illnesses, as well as its oils, which are said to do the same. Number 7. The Agogwe the Agogwe is a humanoid creature spotted in the forests and jungles of East Africa. It was first sighted in 1900 by Captain William Hitchens, but was reported 37 years later in the December issue of the Discovery magazine. It usually stands from 1 to 1.7 metres, or 2 to 5 feet, with several human features. The creature is also said to have odd characteristics, such as long arms and rusty coloured hair covering its body, with yellowish red skin under its coat. Its feet are roughly 12 centimetres long. The differences between the Agogwe and a modern chimpanzee is that the Agogwe has a rounded forehead, smaller but sharper teeth, and the hair and skin colour also. The first recorded sighting of the Yagogwe was in 1900 by Captain William Hitchens, but the incident was reported 37 years later in the December issue of Discovery magazine. He was apparently in the Ashur and Simbit forests, located on the western side of the Wembe Plains in Tanzania. Some years ago, I was sent on an official lion hunt in this area. While waiting in a forest glade for a man-eater, I saw two small, brown, furry creatures come from the dense forest on one side of the glade, and then disappear into the thicket on the other side. They were like little men, about four feet high, walking upright but clad in russet hair. The native hunter with me gazed in mingled fear and amazement. The Agogwe may be a surviving species of Australopithecine, a primate which lived 2.5 million years ago as a very early form of humans. Number 6. The Crawfordsville Monster The Crawfordsville Monster is an atmospheric beast that was sighted over Crawfordsville, Indiana, USA in 1891. The citizens of Crawfordsville described a violently flapping thing with a flaming red eye, 20 feet long and 8 feet wide. Descriptions of the creature vary, with some accounts suggesting it had no head, and others describing it as having glowing red eyes and hot breath. Accounts generally agree that it is a large creature, eel-like in appearance, with several undulating fins down the sides of its body. 
During a reported second appearance, witnesses described the creature as writhing and squirming and producing a wheezing sound as if it were in pain. One of the strangest accounts was when a Methodist pastor named Reverend G. W. Switzer and his wife also saw the animal. The creature writhed as though in great pain, squirmed in agony, and sounded a wheezing, plaintive noise as it hovered at 300 feet. What is strange about the creature is that it has an eye in its mouth, three jaws, and it appears to be a cyclops. It also seems to be eel-like in shape, with feathery protrusions coming out the sides and back. Number 5. The Aldini Monster The Aldini Monster was a lost species of chameleon from Tanzania. They were brown with small red spots and a horizontal stripe across each flank. It had a small horn at the tip of its snout and had a long tail. On February 25th, 1962, Peter Scott and John and Jane Hunter saw a large chameleon near Aldini Peak, Tanzania. They captured it, and Scott took it back to England, where it lived for a full 18 months. Its remains were preserved for a short time, with Scott taking them to several herpetology experts who were unable to determine the animal's identity. The remains of the chameleon were unfortunately lost at some point afterwards. Number 4. The North Shore Monster The North Shore Monster is the name given to a cryptid from Utah's Great Salt Lake. In the 1840s, a certain Brother Bainbridge reported seeing a monster with a dolphin-like body in the lake near Antelope Island. At dusk or evening of the early summer of 1877, J. H. McNeil of Kelton, Box Elder County, and several other employees of the Barnes & Co. Salt Works Company on the lake's north shore reported seeing a huge creature with a crocodile-like body and the head of a horse in the waters of the Great Salt Lake. The creature made a fearsome bellowing noise and charged the workers, who promptly ran up a nearby hillside and hid in the brush until morning. Number 3. The Wood Booger The Wood Booger is a Bigfoot-like creature said to roam the forests of southwest Virginia in the United States. The name Wood Booger was given to the creature because it was often rumoured to carry off young children like the Boogeyman. This cryptid was featured in the Animal Planet TV show Finding Bigfoot, episode Virginia is for Bigfoot Lovers. There have been a particularly large amount of sightings outside the town of Saltville, Virginia. Since this visit, the city of Norton has had many attractions named after the wood booger. This city has also been named as a sanctuary for it. Since 2014, an annual festival is held where visitors can go on guided tours to search for the creature. A statue of the wood booger is located at the Flag Rock Overlook. The wood booger bar and grill is named after the creature, and many local businesses sell wood booger merchandise. Number 2. The Dover Demon the Dover Demon is a small humanoid reported from Dover, Massachusetts, USA. It was the subject of an intensive scare during the 70s, when multiple witnesses came forward with their sightings. The Dover Demon is described as looking sort of like the grey variety of alien, except that it has skin of a rosy orange instead of sickly grey. The Dover Demon has a large head on a small, stick-like body. It can be bipedal, but often travels on all fours and switches back and forth between the two modes of locomotion. It has eyes that glow orange or green and does not seem to wear any clothing. And finally, number one, Organism 46b. The creature designated Organism 46b was an aquatic beast captured by a Russian scientific team near the research outpost Vostok Station. Organism 46b was an enormous 10 meter long, 14 tentacled squid-like creature which lived in Lake Vostok, a subglacial lake located under 2 miles of ice beneath Vostok Station in the Antarctic. 
The animal had limbs that were animate and aggressive even after amputation, could release a toxin into the water to immobilise its prey from a distance of up to 150 feet, displayed an astonishing degree of shape-shifting, and showed a considerable degree of both hostility and intelligence. Vostok Station, established by the Soviets in 1957, was discovered to have been sighted atop a vast body of liquid water beneath the ice, which was subsequently named Lake Vostok after the station. Dr. Anton Padalka claims to have been part of the first scientific expedition to explore the lake. We encountered Organism 46B on our first day. It disabled our radio, which we later learned, to our alarm, was intentional. It is also able to paralyse prey from a distance of up to 150 feet by releasing its venom into the water. Tragically, my colleague and lifelong friend was killed this way. Later, while diving in the lake, the group was attacked. The creature released its venom which took hold of one of them. The organism then proceeded to kill and eat him. As Padalka stated, he tread water wearing a blissful smile as the organism approached him. We watched helplessly as it used its arms to tear off his head, then it popped his remains in its mouth. It was as if it had hypnotised him telepathically. Escaping the creature, a member of the team managed to lop off one of its tentacles, although the severed limb attacked the group again. Later that night, it slid across the ice bank and strangled her, stated Padalka. After finally trapping the creature in a tank, the surviving members of the team brought it to the surface, where they claim Russian officials seized the beast and told the international press that nothing had been found. So, that was 10 cryptids you've never heard of, part 9. What did you think of these deceptive beasts? Had you heard of any of them before? Or were they all new to you? Let me know in the comments, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode.